Hey guys, S. Dudley here. Today I've got a tutorial for how to stream to multiple services like YouTube Gaming, Twitch, Hitbox, uh, whatever, um, from one site. And the site that I'm using is Restream.io. Um, now I use OBS to stream, but it works from all streaming software like XSplit and everything like that. First, what you want to do is go to Restream.io and sign up if you don't already have an account. Then you get presented with this page uh, where you can add channels. Now there's a lot to choose from which have been pre-filled with their servers and you can also create custom platforms as you can see down the bottom. So today I'm going to add my Twitch and YouTube gaming accounts. To add your Twitch one, you should just be able to go connect Twitch and log in via your internet browser as I've done here. You just go authorize and away it goes. It might take a little while to sort of connect the accounts and then it'll show up under channels. So I'm going to add my YouTube gaming one, same process, except you connect YouTube gaming, you go straight through to your Google account. As you can see, I've got a few there, so you select the right one and allow it through to your channel. Right, there you go. You can see the two channels that I've got there ready to stream. Um, and over on the right hand side is where you get your stream key from. Um, so you're going to want to whack it back straight into your streaming software like OBS. For OBS, you go settings, broadcast settings, and it doesn't have restream under the streaming service there, so you just go custom. Put your stream key in, um, copy the stream URL. Now, there's a bunch of servers you can choose. I live in Australia, so I'm going to choose a Sydney one. Um, that should be about all you need to do. Then go through and configure all your video options as you would normal. Um, click OK, and you pretty much right to go now. There's a few other features that Restream does have for you. Titles will let you change the title for your stream on Twitch and YouTube. Um, it'll let you change your game on Twitch, but it won't let you do that for YouTube. So you have to go to your live dashboard before you can do that. So I've put in Restream Test Stream for Twitch and YouTube and clicked update on both of them. Um, and if we go over to the live dashboard, we should be able to see, yep, there we go, Restream Test Stream. Um, and the same for Twitch, yep, Restream Test Stream, still says I'm playing Overwatch because that's what I clicked in last. So there's one last thing that I want to show you guys um, from Restream, which is the chat functionality. It lets you combine all your chats into one. Um, now it's still in beta, so not every service is going to be supported and there might be some issues with it. Currently I'm using the desktop app, which you can download from this site um, and I'll show you how to set it up. It's really easy and it makes it a lot easier. You can even display it on your stream. Um, I know a lot of people do that. Um, once it's downloaded, you log in with your Restream account um, and at the moment it shows the chats from both the channels that we've added today. As you can see, both of them are read-only at the moment. Um, that's because the chat application requires separate authorization to the website. Um, so you're just gonna have to authorize Twitch and YouTube again through your web browser. Um, it should show, say, congratulations, application is now accessible for chat. So here we go through YouTube, click allow. Yep, there we go, authorize for chat access now. Um, so then once you get those authorized, you should be able to go back to the chat application go back to the chat area and enable the reply feature. Now, when you've got the uh, Restream logo there, that means you're chatting to uh, both channels or all the channels that you've got there. You can select just to chat to one, but in this example, I've chatted to both YouTube and Twitch. As you can see, once I chat in Restream, it comes up um, in the chat area on Twitch. So I hope this has been useful for you guys out there that are trying to get Restream working. Um, let me know if I've missed anything out um, or if you want to see more of this or some OBS settings, um, working on a few other projects. Yeah, let me know if you liked the video um, and leave a like or subscribe.